Welcome back everyone, let's go and do a little bit of a speed comparison between the official builds of iOS 13 and iOS 14. So iOS 14 is on the left, iOS 13 is on the right, and I'll go ahead and clear out all the apps in the background and you guys can already see the speed comparison. But what I can tell you is, is that I did this comparison yesterday too, so you guys might have probably seen that, but this is going to be more full in depth one. So let's go and start loading up these apps. Let's do FaceTime, let's do Calendar, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same on both. Mail, three, two, one. Okay, I think iOS 14 may have been a little bit faster. Clock, three, two, one. Uh, about the same on both right there. Photos, three, two, one. And about the same here too. Let me go and get into these photos, see if there's a big difference in scrolling speeds and they're about the same as you guys can tell. Camera, three, two, one. And again, yeah, about the same on both too. Not a ginormous difference. Maps, three, two, one. And iOS 13 was able to pull that one up a little bit faster. Weather, 3, 2, 1. And they both were pretty much the same there too. Not a ginormous difference here. Remind uh, notes, 3, 2, 1. I think iOS 14 was able to get into the continue sign a little bit faster, but they were still extremely close. Let's do the App Store, 3, 2, 1. And I think iOS 13 was able to get into there faster, but it was still like neck and neck. They were extremely close. And scrolling through, you can see yeah, pretty much the same thing going on. Not a ginormous difference. Clicking into one, they were about the same there too. Stocks, three, two, one. And I think iOS 14 may have been a little bit faster, but they were still pretty close. But I think iOS 14 was a little bit faster there. Phone calls, three, two, one. About the same. Let me go and load up a web page. It feels like I'm clicking the button, the home button on the iPhone 8 Plus, but it doesn't seem like it's very weird. Let's go to Bing first. Okay, I think iOS 13 was faster there. Now let's go back to Apple and see which one is faster. And I think iOS 14 was faster there. And eventually we do get into it on the iOS 13 device. Scrolling through, again, pretty much the same as I think going on for both, which isn't a bad thing inherently. And again, it felt like I clicked the button there. So let's go and start loading up these third party apps that I have right here. Let's do Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, about the same. Twitter, three, two, one. And iOS 14 was definitely faster there. That was a pretty big difference. Stack, three, two, one. And this one was able to get into the ad faster. Eventually we get into it on the iOS 14 device, just a little bit before it or a little bit after it. Instagram, three, two, one. Okay, iOS 13 a little bit faster. Paper IO2, three, two, one. And I think iOS 14 was a little bit before. It was like very close though. Getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's a difference. And iOS 13 did glitch up a little bit right there. They both look pretty close anyways. Let's see if we can kind of continue on. And yeah, they both look kind of like neck and neck. I don't think one really is like way crazier than the other one, but they're both like pretty close. Snapchat, three, two, one. And iOS 13 a little bit faster. Let's do Netflix, three, two, one. And I think iOS 14 was a little bit right behind it, or in front of it. Snake vs. Blocks, three, two, one. And I think iOS 14 again was a little bit ahead. Getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's a difference. And like I stated before, I don't think there's going to be a difference. They're both pretty close. Quizlet, three, two, one. Okay, iOS 14 faster. Dropbox, three, two, one. And these were kind of close with one another. Let's do Temple Run 2. 3, 2, 1. And iOS 13 looks a little bit faster. And iOS 14 is a little bit behind it, but not a ginormous difference. And it glitched up a little bit on iOS 14, which is kind of weird. And you can see we fully loaded on the iOS 13 device. Now getting into some gameplay, you can see... Let's see if there's a difference, and I don't think there's going to be a difference. They look pretty much identically on both. And you can see, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Not like a ginormous difference, so that's good. And let's end it off with Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. And this one may take a while. I've been seeing that iOS 13 has been a little bit faster on most other devices, but this one could be totally off. And they were almost identical, so that's really, really interesting, like almost identical, which is so crazy. So 
I don't know what to make of it. I can definitely show you guys the Geek Pen scores that I was getting on both. And it's going to be really interesting because I think I already showed you guys in the beginning with. But as you guys can see, I mean, there were some really big differences. Now, and that could, I guess that is the score then. So as you can see, 927 single core score on iOS 13 and 2244 as a multi-core score. On iOS 14, we're getting 919 as our single core score and 1548 for our multi-core score. So who knows if I'm being honest, like... I would probably say I was surprised that iOS 14 was as fast as it was as it was. <laughs> there were times where iOS 14 was faster and there were a couple of times where it was slower just by a little bit, but the speeds were very, very close to one another. It's not like one was extremely faster than the other one every single time. There was some good range, but even if one was faster, it wasn't like it was 50,000 times faster. It was like very, very close. So I think to kind of sum it up, I'll definitely tell you both phones are great. If you have iOS 13, I would probably recommend staying there for a little bit longer. But if you want to update, I would say go for it. It's not going to hurt anybody. And I think if you have iOS 14 installed, even on an iPhone 8, it's going to be perfectly fine. So that really pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.